What is going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming back at you over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Mormon, Oklahoma. And today we're going to be talking about the Dutchman Voltage 4225. This thing is really cool. As you can see, I got the back porch set up over here. This thing is chock full of some really cool features that I'm sure you guys are going to like. So let's get into it. You know how we do things over here. We're going to start over towards the front walk our way around but man as we're doing it check this thing out it's huge real real big and guys like i said we are talking about the 4225 now it does have the all weather package heated and enclosed underbelly making sure that whenever we go extended season camping we're gonna be able to do it in this guy now we will have some gfci outlets our heater outlet our big pass-through storage with docking and cap lights, a couple more GFC outlets, and our light for inside here. Now you'll notice that we have our nice power inverter and our big, big pass-through storage. Now some of these will be our manual override for some of our electronic motors. Now you'll notice that we do have this LED strip here uh, in the underbelly. I think that's really cool that we have that in the pass-through. And then of course, we've got two 30 pound propane tanks, one on this side and one on the other. And then going underneath this front cab here, bam, big old Conan, the Cummins Onan generator. And then right over here is where we'll keep our batteries. We do have the battery disconnect right there and all of our hydraulic and pumps and hoses for our auto level system. All right. Shut this guy back down. Okay, guys, now we do have the Rotoflex pin box, which is going to reduce chucking. There is this little rubber bushing here that's going to make it nice and cushiony whenever you're going down the road. Of course, we've got the kill switch. If this pops off of your truck, then uh, this thing is going to lock up the brakes, making sure that you're gonna have the least amount of damage to your trailer as possible. Now guys, this is one of the trademarked items by Dutchman is this mirror right here. So after this protective film, there is a mirror underneath so you guys can look through your rear view mirror and see exactly what's going on whenever you hook up. Look at this front cap. I think that looks so aggressive and mean. I think it just looks awesome. And that totally fits the theme of the voltage toy haulers. You'll have these LED strips, nice molded front cap, the big B with voltage right there. Man, I think that these look so cool and so aggressive and just mean. Now here we'll have our second 30 pound propane tank. Let's go over a couple of weights. Unloaded vehicle weight, 16,260. GVWR, 20,000. It's a big boy, so that means we need a big truck to pull it. This is the other end of our pass-through storage. Bang, auto level system. Just hit this guy or hit retract whenever you're done. Here's our nice big power cord. Now over here, we'll have our outside shower with a quick connect hose. We will have key TV, no splitters in this guy. A nice uh, light for us, some more GFCI outlets, our fresh water connection, hot water heater bypass valve and our winterizing system. I like how they give you the knobs here. Now we'll have our black tank as well as our gray tank and then our city water winterized connection and our black tank flush. Really cool stuff. And we can run all of that stuff through this guy right here, which is gonna go through the bottom. So you don't have to have your big slam latch pass through door open the whole time. Hot water heater back here, plug ups for solar power. And then of course we are on a 50 amp service unit. 50 amp service here. Moving right along guys, this does have cable driven slides. All four motors gonna move those things at the same time. Three axles, check out the wheels on this thing too, man, I love those. And it does have the CRE 3000 Mo Ride suspension. Gonna make it nice and smooth whenever you're going down the road. And then here uh, is our gray tank and gray tank over there as well to come out and flush for us. Here is our other tank flush here. And then here is where it gets cool, man. Now we'll have the auto level system. We have six points of 
contact with the ground with our auto level system and you'll also notice that we have our other black tank valve here this is so so cool guys we have two fill tanks for our gas pump we have an onboard gas pump in this thing man how cool is that got to love the onboard gas pump so you can pump up the toys have a good time riding around not running out of fuel and then over here this is going to tell you what your fuel level is at as well as your start and stop on your pump really neat stuff fully walkable roof nice ladder so we can get up there notice the frameless windows love those guys and then the back porch man this is just awesome guys and dutchman knows how to party that is what they made this thing for let's go inside give it a gander see what you guys think all right now inside here we are in the 13 foot garage you'll notice the two sofas these do fold out so we can have another sleeping area these also move up and down speaking of moving up and down moved all the way up is our queen size bed guys full queen size bed up top check it out queen size bed and right up above it you'll notice that we have our air conditioner and plenty of lights right plenty of lights we have our ac queen bed two couches that fold up we do have the solid steps that will go to the back porch let's check out this back porch right quick guys so we do have this lock that's right here so we can keep these screen doors from running into each other and after we undo that we can slide back our screen doors and now if we have things that we're loading and unloading we don't want these screen doors here there's this little this little latch right here i don't know if you guys can see that very well there we go and once we pull that that's going to let these doors swing out and open cool cool stuff now back here on the porch man what do you guys got to think about this so much room for activities we'd be able to get all the cars or the atvs up here have a good time we do have the awning on the back we've got some lights we're pre-wired for a backup camera let's get some lawn chairs get the grill going get some outside entertainment be bumping some radio man this thing is party central now over here you're going to notice that we have the uh, steel lines making sure this thing can stay up nice for us and then we are going to have our level right there and these steel lines do hook up to uh, the garage door and go all the way up into the corners there now to get out we do have this nice little gate so we can undo this guy and hop right out and then over here with our garage we do have these nice steps here keep it nice and secure and then our levels again really really neat stuff guys back to the garage in here what is this big brown box well, i'm glad you asked viewers inside of this big brown box we have a half bath and in this half bath we have a foot flush commode Nice little sink for us, couple GFCI outlets, and then a mirror with a medicine cabinet right in the back. And then over this way, you'll notice that we have our nice vents so we can get any unwanted bathroom odors or any unwanted gases that are inside of the garage out of here. Now, I know what you're thinking, man, what if I need some more space than this? Well, Dustman thought of that and that's why they had designed this guy right here. So once that is pulled, we can magnet it down over to the side and be nice and open giving you that much space now guys up above here a nice tv our awning in and out as well as our bed lift up and down and our light switches plenty of charging spaces here with a good amount of storage same thing here and then moving forward we do have some washer and dryer connections really good stuff with our dryer vent already there now it is heated and enclosed in here guys so we do have heat as well as our ducted ac system like i was saying now we do have our domatech thermostat now look at this door it is tinted solar glass it is safety glass 
Now we do have some LED strips that are going to be all around the bottom edge. And then with this door, it is sealed, making sure that there's not gonna be any gases going to and from. Now, before we get too deep into the inside, let's check out this little cheat sheet here for us. 2,500 pound tie downs, two indoor outdoor speakers, metal ram air vents, tough ply flooring, all weather thermal package, two layers of insulation and enclosed gate valves, really cool stuff. Toy hauler features, fuel tank with the pump station, just like we talked about, our 500, excuse me, 5,500 watt generator, which we looked at and we also saw those cool wheels. Seven foot tall slide outs, guys. That is really important to me. I'm a big guy. I'm six foot five inches tall myself. So this means a lot. And if you're a tall guy like me, you're gonna love these Dutchmans. Our ramp patio with electric awning and steps, really cool. Bedroom retreat, solid steps, zero G door. So the cool thing about that garage door is it is zero gravity. You can move it with just a finger, really cool stuff. Residential furniture, outside entertainment center on select models. Now this guy doesn't have it. But on select models we do, and if you look at my channel, you'll notice some of those. Our lay flat Happy Jack sofas and our premium kitchen. Man, this stuff is super cool. Prep for Wi-Fi and 4G LTE, two 30 pound propane tanks, Polar Breeze triple AC system, backup camera ready, king bed, 30 gallon fuel station, 12 volt heated tank pads. All of this stuff, guys, this is what you get. And you also get Dutchman's three year warranty. First year, bumper to bumper, second year, and third year structural warranty good stuff now up above here you'll notice that we have a nice twin loft and we do have another set of stairs that will go right here like a little ladder i like that we have the curtain to give you some privacy as well up above me you'll notice that we got some kenwood speakers as well as some of our ac ducts and plenty of lights as well as our big max air fan guys this will move some air whenever you're going to set up and it's really hot inside turn that bad boy on get all of that hot air out of here and bing bang boom you're good to go look at this beautiful kitchen man oversized residential insignia four burner gas stove huge oven that we could fit a whole turkey in nice high point microwave nice and big in there check out all of these cabinets guys this stuff is huge plenty of storage everywhere that you look man plenty 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 of storage now check out these lights too man i really love these light fixtures that they did here in the kitchen i think that those really give it a seamless look and i really like this this wooden box that they have right there too Solid surface countertops, nice deep stainless steel sink with the chef's nozzle sink, really neat. And then under here, more storage, you guessed it, with a slide out trash can. How cool is that guys? Now right here is our breaker and fuse box. And then we do have plenty more storage with our drawers. Some of these drawers have never been opened before, so I'm having to kind of give it the beans, but those that does go away in time. Now, man, look at this big old Domatech refrigerator. Excuse me, Norcold refrigerator. Now, this guy is gas and electric. And then over the sink, we do have these little grates that can fold up really nice. And then here is our uh, water faucet as well. Gas and electric fridge, guys. Really neat stuff. You can go dry camping, boondocking in this thing and not have to worry about it. We got the generator on board, gas and electric fridge, three ACs, what more do you need? And a big old pantry, that's what else you need, man, look at that. And each one of these shelves can hold 50 pounds, guys. Let's stroll on into the living room. What do you think about this? Guys, drop me a comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite features are about this Voltage 4225 really really neat stuff let's talk about these couches guys these are thomas Paine residential furniture now this is a vinyl material that's going to be stain resistant water resistant and tear resistant so good for pets and you'll notice speaking of pets not a stitch of carpet all the way around now with these chairs they are heated they have a light and they also massage and there is a light inside of your cup holder so you can see what you're doing there which is really cool stuff and we do have the black amount night shades 
awesome, awesome feature here. Now we have the two theater, two more theater seats, and but all three of these are the same, and then two more theater seats over here. Now I know what you're wondering, Hayes, what is this thing right here? This, guys, like I said, Dustin wants to party. This is our powered subwoofer. So we have zero to 180 phase. We can adjust our frequency as well as the volume of our subwoofer. How cool is that, man? They really thought of everything whenever they built this. Now we do have this nice Furion 40 inch electric furnace. This thing changes colors. It looks just beautiful whenever it's going. Gives it a really nice feel and aesthetic. Makes you feel like you're right at home sitting in front of the fireplace, getting warm at the same time. IRV Technologies infotainment system, Bluetooth. We got uh, your eject over here, aux cord, HDMI, all of that good stuff. And this will control the music on the outside as well as the inside. Plenty of storage space for all of your infotainment needs. Plenty, plenty, plenty of storage in this guy, guys. How cool. And man, check out this big old TV. Now this guy can come out, it is on a TV mount, so we can move it around, that way everybody gets a nice good view. I like that we have the handle here, of course we got the bug door, the fire extinguisher, and our main front door. Now here is our uh, second AC thermostat, so each one of these is going to be running off of its own thermostat. So we have the one here, the one in the garage, and then the one in the bedroom as well. And then right in here is our big control panel. So this is our max air fan. So we can turn the fan on, fan off, vent open, vent close. Our light switches right here. And then this is where it gets really fun, guys. Our awning light, water pump, electric water heater, or gas water heater. Our black one and two, gray one and two, interior lights, and then all of our heated tanks. Over here, we can see all of the levels of our tanks, as well as our battery and generator fuel level. Now, this will be to start our generator and tells you how many hours are on it, which at the moment we have zero hours on this generator. Our uh, slides for the, excuse me, our awnings here and then glide rooms one, two, and three. So we do have three slides on this bad boy too. All right, y'all, let's go over into the bathroom. Now in the restroom, my personal favorite part is this sink. I love this, this sink. I really do like the bowl look. I think it gives it a really classy kind of vibe. And then we do have our nice stainless steel uh, water faucet, two more GFCI outlets, and this nice countertop too, guys. And then right underneath our mirror is our medicine cabinet. A nice fan for us. Another uh, spot for our heat and AC. And then with the shower, this thing is huge. You got a place to sit. You've got all of this good stuff over here. Now, whenever you're in transportation, you have this little hook. That way it's not going to move around everywhere. And then whenever you take that off, we do have the tri-fold frosted glass. I think that that looks so, so cool. And then we can put all of this back and then last that bad boy back. Really neat stuff. Now we have two doors to the bedroom. So we can go through the bathroom or we have the, our other door over here. Plenty of storage for some towels, toiletries, plenty of drawer space over here. So we can put some toilet paper, some towels, toothbrushes, all that good stuff. To the bedroom. Now our bedroom door to the bathroom is a nice sliding barn door. And then to the rest of the camper, we have this frosted glass door here too. And we also have a smoke detector in the, in the bedroom, which is really neat. Here's that third AC I've been preaching about. Man, check out this big king size bed. How beautiful is that? Now this is an east to west bed, meaning that uh, in the slide, we're gonna be going east to west and we have the two windows on either side so you can get a nice cross breeze blowing through and of course we do have the blackout shades to go right along with that and then underneath our bed we have our nice little table there so we can get a good meal going and plenty more storage space guys nice insignia tv there and then our residential dresser four drawers full extension ball bearing drawers really really neat stuff and then going on over to our closet we're gonna have plenty of space here 
for all of your folded clothes. Same thing up top. Plenty space for all your folded clothes. And then in our closet, I really like that on the closet, we have these uh, two straps down here that's going to keep it nice and secure during transportation. So if we undo that, this gives us a nice view of the mirror glass. What do you guys think about this? I think that this is a really fancy feature that they've done. Gives it a really homey feel. And then whenever we put this back, here is where we have all of the hanging space. So you'll notice we have the shelf here that we can take out off if we really want to. And then our nice big hanging rack there as well as under here and a place for all of our shoes. But man, what do you guys think about this thing? I was in a toy hauler mood today. We just got back from the weekend. Really wanted to show you guys some of this stuff and see what you think and get some feedback from you. Leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part about this is, guys. I'm trying really hard to pump out some cool, good content for you guys. So if you did enjoy this, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell, turn on your notifications, give me a like on the video and shoot me a comment. All of that stuff really helps me out. It helps more cool people just like yourself see these awesome campers that I'm so happy to bring to you guys all the time. But guys, like I said, if you liked it, show your, bro show your boy some support. And if you could see yourself camping in this voltage, let me know. I'm gonna have my phone number, my email address, my Facebook page, my inventory website, as well as a link to Dutchman's website so you can learn more about this voltage and all the other cool floor plans that they've got. But man, as you guys can see, I have got so many voltages over here right now, I'm surrounded by them. So if you guys need one of these things, I'd love to make you a smoking deal. It's Hayes Carlson signing off over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. See you later.